Troy started to develop after 1955 when it became a city. And as buildings were being torn down to make way for development, members of the Historical Society discovered that they were losing the stories that were represented by those buildings. The Troy Historic Village is a cultural gem for the city of Troy. It offers a unique environment nestled right in the heart of the city where people can meet, where they can learn, where they can enrich their lives in a cost-effective way. The historic village is important to me because it's one of the hidden gems of Troy in my opinion. Uh, we've always, I've grown up here in Troy, so I've always visited as a student through field trips and that. And once I grew older, it was nice to come back and really get the history of Troy from a different perspective. There was always great activities to do here, uh, whether that be at the blacksmith shop or the different events that they hosted. Our most important programs are our education programs that we offer for children. We see about 12,000 students and teachers and chaperones each year. 40% of them come from our local community, come from the schools in Troy, but the rest come from districts in the Tri-County area. And our education programs are terrific because they are age and grade level appropriate and every program incorporates hands-on learning with the nuggets of history and social history that we, we teach. As a teacher it's important because I feel that history is one of the areas that the students need to use all of their senses for. So the first thing that they see here is the importance of learning about things that are from our past history. I would explain the village to people that have not been here before as a magical experience. It's almost a time capsule. You can step back in time and see very old and very well maintained and preserved facilities but also learn a great deal of what pioneer life was like, but not to also be stuck in a certain time period. We recognize that history goes on. The Troy Historic Village is open and available for rentals. We have a lot of weddings conducted in our church or in our uh, village on the gazebo. We are also available for small clubs and organizations that are looking for a place to meet. I believe that when most people walk into the historic village, the thing that impresses them most is that they're immersed into history. When you walk into the log cabin, there are no ropes. You can smell the history. The wood smoke is in the air. You can feel the history as you touch those rough walls. When you walk into the Poppleton School, you can sit down in a desk and pull a slate out. That's the part of history that's really exciting to me and we think is important to preserve and present in a way where people can connect with one another across time, across geography, and across culture.